today we're going to talk about five reasons why Hylion's Hypertruck ERX could quite possibly be the best selling electric semi truck in America very, very soon. Reason number one, Peterbilt, the Peterbilt 579, that's right, Thomas Healy has chosen the Peterbilt 579 or Peterbilt has chosen Thomas Healy's Hypertruck ERX to be housed in the Peterbilt 579 and I think that that is the most important thing because Peterbilt is a member of the Packard family and most truck drivers know that Peterbilt Kenworth which is also under the Packard name and Packard does actually manufacture engines themselves I believe they manufacture them in Columbus Mississippi and Peterbilt does most of its manufacturing I believe in Denton Texas even though they do have other plants but this is the most popular truck brand guys truck drivers know who have been around in the business for more than five years, if you've driven a certain amount of trucks, then you know and you understand that Peterbilts are the best. In fact, I have some footage of when I used to drive a Peterbilt 579, and you guys can see the interior of the truck. It's very well built. The engines are very reliable. They're tested very, very well. They last longer than any other trucks out there on the road. And if you guys have been reading the reviews that have been coming from the Innovation Council and from other truck drivers who have driven it, then I'm sure you've heard that people enjoy it very, very much. They love the truck. They love the truck. And part of the reason that they love it is because the Hypertruck ERX is being housed inside of the Peterbilt 579. It's basically the luxury brand of trucking, the Cadillac of trucking. Now, Peterbilt does make Kenworth as well. Uh, I would say, I guess, comparable would be a T680, the Kenworth T680, but we're going in the Peterbilt 579, and I think that's fantastic. It's a very comfortable truck. Um, this truck is uh, usually uh, sold to bigger fleets who want to give their drivers a more luxurious, comfortable experience, and I have to agree. It is comfortable and luxurious. When I was driving that truck, uh, my channel was actually born in that truck, uh, Drive Mix Game, um, because it was so nice, so comfortable. I actually uh, had my DJ turntable set up in there. I had a 32-inch TV mounted perfectly up against the wall, uh, adjacent to my bunk. And basically what I was doing at the time is I was driving and I was DJing at night. And uh, I was playing video games uh, with one of my friends in New York. And um, we were basically gonna stream and you know, that's how it all started. But the truck is beautiful. Um, it's very comfortable. And um, I think it's gonna contribute greatly to uh, the sales of the Hyper Truck ERX. Number two, uh, they have the patents. That's right. Hylion's team has patented uh, quite a few things I'm gonna read some to you here I heard that it's anywhere from 35 to 80 I don't have the full list but let me just read a couple of patents to you uh, so here's some of the names of the patents that they have battery pack optimization for thermal thermal management patent owned by Hylion vehicle mobilization mechanism oh the regenerative regenerative electrical power system with the state of charge management management in view of predicted and are scheduled stop over auxiliary power requirements wow uh they've got quite a list here electric vehicle energy storage motor vehicle accessory to increase power supply and reduce fuel requirements uh it's quite a list it's quite a list that they have here most of these patents that i'm seeing on this list were filed in october 2020 excuse me in 2020 or 2021 uh, vehicle weight estimation system and related methods. That's very important when you're scaling out in CMV class A vehicles, vehicle energy management systems and related methods. So 
there's a long list here, guys, and um, I'll probably post some of these links down. But um, that's got to be the number two reason why uh, this could be uh, the best selling electric truck very soon in America is that they have tested and tried uh, a lot of this equipment in the real world in real trucks. Um, and um, it's kind of hard to get around the patents that they have in this in this industry, this emerging industry. Number three, number three, all the right connections. As you guys know, um, Hylian and Thomas Healy have basically been rubbing all the right elbows. Whether I like it or not, um, I wish that they would spend more time uh, focusing on building truck driver awareness and brand awareness, but who cares? Because I don't, I don't own Hylian. I'm not the CEO of Hylian. But in terms of making sales of the truck, they're making all the right moves. The Innovation Council has a, a very, very large list of who's who in trucking uh, on that list, um, from Agility to A and G. Anheuser-Busch, who I think is a major, major player uh, to make purchases of electric trucks in the future. I see Green Pass on there, NFI. I remember NFI when I used to run in the Northeast. Penske, uh, Penske is, um, wow. Penske, and I see Riders on there too. Ryder and Penske uh, lease a lot of trucks. Um, and they have um, these packages like full maintenance leases and things like that where people can come in and they can drive the truck for a little bit or you can drive for six months and try it out, things like that. But um, they're big players. And the thing about Penske and Ryder is that they actually have a lot of service centers um, all across America. So that could actually be really, really big for Highland and Penske and Ryder decide to play some orders. Um, Ruan uh, Schneider, who I used to work for many, many years ago. Wegmans, of course, I've mentioned before in the past, and Werner. Now, Schneider and, we uh, Schneider and Werner are what uh, most people call in the industry mega carriers. And they're probably the two on this list who are capable of placing like 500 to 1,000 truck orders in one shot. Um, these are companies that have more than a thousand trucks for those of you who don't know. You're going to want a truck that works and the people who have the money and the power and the means to buy a $250,000 truck are all the people who Thomas Healy and Hylian have on the Governance Council and are inviting down to the facility in Cedar Park, Texas to take that red carpet rollout, test drive, to see what it can actually do. They're making all the right moves, guys. And if that doesn't convince you enough, how about number four? Okay, let's get a little bright over there. So for number four, this is the one that we've all been talking about here for a while. And as of the recording of this video, March of 2022, uh, the price of oil is absolutely going bonkers. And that makes the price of diesel <laughs> really really high and I don't mean to laugh like a joke this is a very serious matter for owner operators this is a very very devastating piece of news um, it is going to make it very very tough to get by even if you own all of your equipment um, and for big companies looking to the next five to seven years do you think they're really excited about buying a diesel truck right now which you need to pay four dollars to get a gallon of diesel that's if you have a discount and most of these big corporations do have a discount so if you see the price at the pump is four dollars and sixty cents for example that company might only be paying three dollars and ninety cents or four dollars let's say they were paying three dollars and sixty cents a gallon a larger company like schneider or werner let's say that they were for one truck that goes mm, 400 miles a week Oh man, they're probably going to end up paying almost $3,000 in diesel fuel. We're talking about $12,000 a month in diesel fuel. It's $140,000 plus a year for one truck. One truck at $3.60, and like $3.70 a gallon. And what's the national average right now? <laughs> yeah, it's over four. So going forward 
a lot of these larger companies are looking for a truck just like this an expensive truck that is electric fully electric too runs on cng just to power the battery pack but it's a fully electric truck it can run 75 miles without even having to start the truck just full electric power i mean and you're getting an ev tax credit for it this is the perfect perfect thing because Going forward, in this environment, the world that we live in now, you really do need to reduce your cost of ownership because you need to have a better truck that lasts way longer. I think that the oil price is going to help tremendously in moving these larger comp companies into accepting that $250,000 price tag because, like I said, at three dollars and sixty cents, three dollars and seventy cents a gallon, the truck that goes four hundred miles a day in thirty day, thirty one day period, you're talking about over twelve thousand dollars a month in diesel costs, one hundred forty four thousand dollars a year. And if you want a truck to last you five to six years, oh my god! I mean, I don't, my calculator doesn't go that high. I don't have that kind of money, so I don't. I don't you know, that's my personal opinion. Anyway, let's keep moving. Let's go to number five. Okay guys, we've arrived at number five and I've kind of alluded to this already. It is margins of the trucking industry continue to get thinner and thinner and you need better and better drivers who don't want to leave. There's more and more regulation. The price of diesel goes up and up. That comes straight out of your bottom line. That's your cost of doing business. It's not getting any easier, guys. You have more and more government regulations, e-logs. They want you to take DOT physicals now more and more often. They want to have attached to your license. We have to do drug testing. You have to, you have to get scale tickets, if the tickets, permits to go in and out of state. It's expensive to run a legal trucking business, whether you have one truck or ten thousand. And squeezing out that profit gets tougher and tougher and tougher. And one of the ways to mitigate that is to buy for a larger carrier or an owner operator a truck that you know is going to last five to seven years at a minimum that you can buy and just keep driving. So, in this industry that's changing very, very much, very, very rapidly. And it really is getting harder and harder to make a dollar. It really is in the trucking business. The margins are really, really thin. There's only one real solution, and that is get a truck that is reliable, comfortable to drive, and that drivers will want to stay in, and that you can pay off and will continue to run after you finish paying it off. And right now, I don't see how that's not Highlands Hypertruck ERX.